Hey guys, Sean and today we are talking about the 5 star event. I know I'm very late, I was too focused on the new unit, I totally forgot about this event. So today we are going to talk about the net 5 that you should take that is the best for you. My recommendation and so far I have seen nothing but dupes for me. But in this video I was trying to keep in mind that a lot of you guys don't really give a shit about RTA. So the recommendation should be a unit that is useful in general. If you are those who really want to know about what unit is really good at RTA, hey, you might want to check out this website right here. I use it a lot for my own research as well. And you can go to swarena.gg. You go to monster and you search by maybe win rate. You want to search by pick rate to see what are the unit being used in RTA and are they winning. And then you can see that, hey, Nana, Oliver and Carnal are the strongest unit right now. So if you really want to improve your RTA, you want to get the unit that is being used, that has a lot of win rate. And here you can find all that information. Oh, somehow Hathor has pretty good win rate. Oh, Hathor's coming back. Kind of crazy, huh? So we'll be going through by elements, okay? We'll be going through by elements and see what are the top three that if you see them, they are a league above the rest. For water elements, I think the strongest unit in probably the game right now is this unit right here. You might be wondering, oh, she's great for PvP like RTA. Yes, she's really amazing. If not one of the most highest win rate unit for the entire RTA, but she's also really good for guild content. She has some amazing leader skill. She has support capability. There are so many Nana defense and Nana is amazing for offense. She's also amazing for TOA. She's also amazing for Labyrinth. She is really, really good. A very well-rounded support for both PvP and PvE. You can use her in almost every Labyrinth stage. You can use her for your auto TOA team. There are so many use cases for her that... I think it is really unfair that this is a unit. She's just way too good. Next up on the list for water unit will be Bastet. She's also very similar to Nana. In a sense, she is also amazing for both PvP and PvE. She's amazing for Arena, RTA, Guild content. She's good for Labyrinth. She's also great for TOA for auto team. She has a lot of support capability. Very similar to Nana actually. Attack break, defense break many other random debuff as well and protection also attack buff it's just this girl is absolutely amazing for the third slot this one's gonna be a bit harder because the other unit here they are more specific in their niche personally i think the water ryu or the water striker is really really good he's amazing for pvp he's amazing for guild content as well he's not that relevant in pve but he's definitely a strong speed lead, damage dealer, stripper, and also has very strong solo potential in the game. I think he is just absolutely amazing. If you have to choose between the three, I will go from Nana to Bastet to the Water Ryu. Honorable mention. I'm not exactly sure. I'm a big fan of Praha, but Praha is very hard to ruin. And also not exactly super versatile. She's really strong though. Damage dealer with additional damage artifact. Stripper, healer, CC. She has a lot in her kit. But ruining her is gonna be a bit harder. And then there's Abelio. Who I think is just one of the most ridiculous healer in this game right now. Very, very annoying to control. Has damage, CC, provoke and a fat heal and attack by increasing effect as well. He is just absolutely a nightmare to deal with an RTA and arena defense. I really like him, but can I, maybe he, uh, him and the water Ryu, I'm not sure now, but Bastet and Nana still stand at the top, but hey, Abelio is just, and then there's Mo Long who is so, so very relevant right now in all pvp aspect of this game but also depend on your playstyle if you're not a bruiser gamer then poseidon will be your savior in arena offense in rta cleave in just cleave in general this skill is one of the strongest aoe attack skill in the game he is also one of my favorite units for a very long time for controlling purpose he also block violent proc really well with two turn silence there's so many so many good water unit man for the fire nat 5 department surprisingly 
I wouldn't consider any of the Fire Net 5 very crucial. If there's a very versatile unit in here, I would say Perna and Zyros are my top choice. I use Zyros every single day, but Zyros is a very simple unit. He's not flashy, but I use him every single guild content, every single arena rush, arena attack, pretty much. He is just really strong, really good in what he does. Perna is very good for PvP and PvE. He's very good in Rift Bees, in Labyrinth, and in guild content. They are both not RTA units, so they're not like popular. Like, oh my god, I see Okeanos, I see Douglas, I see Chiwu, and you're like, oh, RTA unit Karno as well. But they are very good for, I think, the general population. I think Perna and Zyros are just absolutely amazing. But if you have to look for a versatile unit, I would say Karno is definitely amazing. He can be good for your TOA, he can be a good CC unit for your lab, and he's definitely a very strong unit for Arena, RTA, and guild content as well. A great PvP unit, definitely has some PvE usage, but I think Karno is really, really amazing. If I have to give an honorable mention, I think either Douglas, who is good in R5 and PvP in general, or Jogun, who is an underrated unit, but very, very strong for bomb team. And this skill right here can be used on all of the passive powerhouse in the game, like Nana. So it's a very strong PvP unit, but rather underrated because he got nerfed after his buff. So people think he's really shit now, but no, he is really, really amazing. So for fire unit, I think I really enjoy Perna and Zyros. I really like Karno. I think Karno is insane. Douglas and Jogun. Okay, I know I forgot Rika altogether, but there have been so many new control continuous damage in the game recently that makes Rika not as amazing and unique as before. Before many of the new two that can do the same thing that Rika does, I think Rika is an insane unit. Nobody can rival her in terms of this skill 3 right here. So, hey, if you're a big fan of Rika, you want a strong turn 2 pick, and just a very strong unit in general. You want to burn through all those bruiser defense with dots. I think Rika is pretty amazing too. In the wind department, it's definitely going to be harder. There are many, many strong wind unit and they are like really, really strong. They somehow make wind unit the strongest in the game and also the bad, the worst in the game. If there's a unit that is unique in the game and I will take that unit above anything else, it has to be Leo. He's the only one in the game that negate the most important part about this game, which is the speed stat, which allow who go first. He just negate that. And he changed the battle into something else entirely different. He's also really good in Labyrinth for that one stage where they limit your speed. You put him in and suddenly everything is back to normal. He's a crazy unit for PvP. You put Leo on the field and suddenly things really change. He's a force band unit. You make a lot of guild defense, siege defense super easy because he's just destroying unit like Savannah or speed scaling unit like Theomas or any other beast riders. He's just really, really good. Next up, I have to give a big shout out to... Even though Oliver is the RTA mega power right now, he will probably will be nerfed, you never know. And he is really only good in RTA. He's not really that amazing in arena or guild content. He's really amazing for RTA. If you're looking for RTA progress, you definitely want to look out for Oliver. But if you want some improvement in both PvE and PvP, Savannah might be the unit of your choice. She is the unit that will make your Illunia run super consistent. She's great for early game Giants team, great for TOA, great for Gil RTA Arena. She is a powerhouse altogether. Very aggressive unit and she is relevant in almost every content of the game. Savannah is just absolutely insane. She's like the opposite of Leo and Leo counter her, but she makes Leo so much better because Leo counter her because she's that good. Okay. Even though I really enjoy Sierra, but Sierra is definitely really hard to ruin and she's not going to be an easy unit to bring out the most value. But what if there's a unit that bring out the most potential, the biggest value out of any unit, and that has to be the Ganymede. He's just insane in terms of control, and also this skill will bring out the value of any other unit you're trying to use. Double immunity, you want to run control team, you want to run damage team, Ganymede just make everything possible. So I think Gany is also going to be my third choice for the wind element. I would say a very simple unit to use will be the wind panda. 
it's going to be great for your pvp and pve need in labyrinth and also in Illunia. once again he's not hard to ruin speed defense defense or triple defense and he's going to be a free win pretty much for a lot of things in guild content he's absolutely amazing so that will be my honorable mention right there another honorable mention will be tiana she's also very unique in the game she can boost attack bar and strip at the same time and her strip cannot be resisted and with the buff to skill 2 she is also an amazing damage dealer i use this unit almost every single day in arena in guild content not in rta though but there are many cleave come in rta but i'm not dangerous i'm not brave like that so i don't cleave in rta but she is an amazing pvp monster definitely not for early game player though savannah is still king i mean queen yeah for early and mid game if you have trouble with toa this will be the strongest unit for toa this guy make a lot of five star control unit look like a joke because of how strong ridiculous he can be and he is a four star unit if you're looking for damage in pve you're looking for the water twin so for the net four summoning event choose the twin that you don't have between the water twin and they are going to be amazing for you for the fire department i'll definitely look out for kakano because he's really amazing for guild content and you are going to be using him a lot for siege for guild war or you can take a kamun was also who, who used to be the Kakano of guild content. Everyone would tell you to take Kamun because he can do damage, he can protect, he has speed lead. Very good for mid game progression and guild content, right there. Honorable mention would be getting this unit for your necro progression, but you don't have to. Like Tricaro and Vert, it's still gonna do necro just fine, but not as fast. For the wind department, I guess we all know Lucian, but hey. One of the key unit for my success in guild content is definitely this unit. And a lot of people have multiple Triana because she counter one shot aggressive defense. She's a strong support in general. She can do some damage if you want her to. And she's amazing in both PV and PVP. So those are the four and five star unit that I recommend you guys try and get. If you have any other question, leave a comment down below. Maybe someone is going to help you. Maybe I'm going to try to reply to you but hope you guys get what you want and hope i get something new for myself that's it for the video today guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye